2020, the year of SPAC stocks and EV. They have been coming out from all over the woodwork this year. We're seeing more and more EV stocks coming into the limelight and they are definitely dividing opinion. Some people love EV, some people are steering clear. So actually, before we get into this, let me know in the comments your thoughts on this EV boom, because like I say, it is dividing opinion, so I'm interested to see what everybody's thinking about this. So we are going back to one of the first EV stocks that was on the scene this year, and that started off as a SPAC stock tortoise acquisition, which then went on to complete a merger and became Hylion. I covered these a little while ago on my channel, basically went through what the company does, etc., and why the stock was crashing. So feel free to check that out. I'll leave that in the link in the description below. And all of those points I made on why Hylion was selling off still very much stand. Today, we are talking about some big news surrounding Hylion, ticker symbol HYLN. We finally have another analyst prediction, which could go on to send Hylion up into the green after pretty much hitting all time lows. So we're gonna cover the share price and the stock in a minute. But before we do, let's have a look at this latest news. So this comes from Barclays, which is basically one of the big banking firms, analyst Brian Johnson, who has basically given Hylion an outperforming overweight rating of $20 price target. And it goes on to say that he forecasts healthy growth through the end of the decade for this company. Now this rating is actually a lot less than the current consensus for Hylion, which currently stands at around about $23 um, per share for this stock. But we're going to go into this current price in a minute because it is less than this $20 price target. But So it still implies that there is going to be an upside. Now at this moment in time, it said 27% upside. But since then, we have started to see slow movements based off of this news. And the current consensus actually is that Hylion is a hold and that's with two hold ratings and one buy rating. So there's not many analysts out there talking about Hylion. Yes, a lot of YouTubers and a lot of investors are covering Hylion, but in terms of actual analysts, there isn't too many out there. So for Barclays to go ahead and give us their price prediction, which actually stands higher than its current share price, is very promising for us as investors. And obviously with Joe Biden becoming the US president, and we know how um, for the EV market he is, this is also looking really promising for Hylion going forward. And just to quickly show you this here from Seeking Alpha, Hylion is thinly covered on Wall Street. Like I just said, not many analysts are talking about this company. So for finally to get another analyst and another price prediction, which is higher than we currently are, that is very promising. And with its recent Q3 earnings report, Hylion said its focus in 2020 to 2021 will be to position the company for long-term sustainable growth. And keyword there being long-term. This is a long-term investment. If you are an investor in Hylion looking to make 100%, 200% gains, you're gonna be waiting a while, okay, because this is a long-term investor and this is the EV market. This is the future. So now let's have a look at how this analyst news has affected this price currently and where we think it may go in the coming days, weeks, and months. And if we look at where it started, it basically IPO'd around about June time at about a cost of $10 per share. And that was when it was SPAC stock um, tortoise acquisition. And we see a massive, massive run up all the way to $55 or so per share. If you was involved in it back at that SPAC stock or in the early days, just like I was, you probably saw huge gains. At one point, I was up about 145% per share. And like many of us investors who were holding, we were part of that roller coaster and we saw it crash all the way down. And it went down to below about, about $10 per share again. And then as of late, we did see a bit of a run and then we've been selling off. So we look at where it's gone in the last one month. We crashed down very recently all the way to just about $15 per share, which in my opinion would have been an absolute steal. If you got in at that price, I think that was an amazing price to get in at. And it, at that time, it didn't seem like there was no stopping this. It could have continued going down and down. And then we've had this analyst news. And if we go on to the last day alone, we're currently up 7% almost at this time of uh, recording this. Obviously, this may change. The market is currently open, so this could change. But we're about 7% up almost and we're back about almost $18 per share, which is still below that analyst rating of $20, but when you think we was at 15 not too long ago, it's back up again. But from my opinion, I think the $20 price target is a good aim for this company. Anything below 20, I'm happy with. 15, I will definitely be buying. So my stance and my position on this is I'm not adding to my current position anymore because I'm quite happy with how it's built out. But if it does drop to the $15, or you know what, even less, some people are saying this company could hit $12, $10 out there. And if it does, I don't see that myself, but if it does, 
I will definitely be buying more at those prices. Now, if you are an investor into Hylion and you've read the news, etc., you probably predicted that this would probably happen because the smallest bit of news around an EV company could send it up 5%, 10%, down 5%, 10%, just like that. And that is what's happened here, okay? We may be going to see a bit more of a green days in the coming weeks, but then the smallest bit of news could send it straight back down. Nobody is investing into EV, nobody's investing into Hylion for an easy ride. This is a speculative position, a position for the future. So you've got to be able to ride those waves if you are a long term investor. So let me know your thoughts on Hylion. Are you buying more at these prices? Like I say, I am personally not going to be buying more unless it drops again, uh, has another big sell off, then I will definitely buy more. I'm happy with my position in this, I'm not looking to add to it at this moment. Let me know your thoughts. Are you buying, holding, selling? And also, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It really is appreciated. Thanks for watching and until next time.